Welcome back to Let's Play Run Back the Oceans. <laughs> it's just like the cat is just sleeping there, and I'm just like, any moment now, she'll be like, hey, you're doing recordings. I'm out of here, <laughs> and I'll have to freaking open the door. I can't remember where I left off. <laughs> Rune Factory! That was the last of the recordings. The eighth. Because I, I edited the previous record session the day after, so I was a bit confused. So if that's the case. Yeah, just about a week since I last recorded. It's almost at the same time as well, except definitely not, because that's when I saved. It's like currently, you know, half past one in the afternoon, so uh, not that it makes any difference at all. What would? It would be like, oh yeah, I'm recording this at like three in the morning. That has happened. Some recordings. I'm not sure about three in the morning, but you know, pretty late. And I haven't uploaded the previous part yet, so I'm a bit, uh... <laughs> really, I should have, like... I was just like, let's do some recording, and I'm like, uh, should have really... Like, I <laughs> usually wait until, like, the uh, previous part's been uploaded, but so far... I got one of the previous parts. Part 61 I uploaded the other day. 62... Oh yeah, I obtained the Water Spirit Shrine here. That's the important thing. Didn't something else happen though? I can't remember. No, I think that was the part before that. I, I, I confused myself. Good morning to the both of you. I bid you a good day. I don't have to patrol on the weekends, but trouble doesn't take weekends off. That's why I often patrol anyway. <laughs> I suppose that's what they mean by taking your work home. Good morning. Get out. Mm, what a nice aroma. Don't you hate when you go to say something and then you immediately forget what you were gonna say? Fuck, I hate when that happens. I guess they're in their rooms. I didn't mean to. I mean that. Look how far away he is from it. You can look at it from that angle. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh wait. Nope. Nope. Yeah, they're they're in their rooms rather than all like all just huddling into Lily's room. Like they usually would. I can't remember what I was gonna say though, and that's bugging me now. Alright, oh, this is different. Their schedule is completely different. Oh, what a lovely pen. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, uh, probably won in a contest or got as a reward. I can't remember this one. But what I do remember is what I was going to say. Like, uh, yesterday I did some recording for Higurashi Matsuri Abayashi. It's kind of a freaking mouthful of a title. The last answer arc of Higurashi, the VN channel. And I was like, I hadn't, like, used Steam in ages. And I was like, okay, when did I finish Minigurashi? September 25th. Only now get around to the answer I'll coming after it for the VN channel. And it's like, wow. And I recorded like probably two hours or more. And I'm like, I've got that still left to edit. But I'm like, fuck that, I'll do some recording so I'll have more editing. Genius. Morning. Good 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 morning. Good
morning. I mean, at least Higurashi doesn't take up the amount of space that, you know, Return of the Cat's got, that, so that's, that's one positive thing. I know Dark House is the place you lived before. Good morning! Good morning! I wonder what we'll be having for lunch! It's so fun to think about! Food always tastes better after a hard day's work. Unless the hard day's work was so exhausted that you can't even eat because of how exhausted you are. Good morning. Hmm. So, you are hard at work this morning. Excellent. Bring me jewels as tribute. Hey! Not for the monetary value. Yes, I do remember I got all those rubies. So you will get a daily jewel. Jewels possess magic. I will take possession of this one. Hello. Now one thing though, did I did I complete the uh, oh, request for Elena did like I talked to her after it, I can't remember. Why, good morning. I do hope you'll have a good day. I don't think I got the reward for it yet. Now listen carefully, Dean. You'll be forced to make some very important decisions to drive at some points. Just remember to stay true to yourself and blah blah blah. I told you this before. Morning! Good morning! <laughs> That's a weird weapon. Good morning. Maybe that goes through the scary I told you before. It's freaking. Well. Well, I said that before as well, haven't I? It's like, oh, I could have golfed in the game. Yeah, it's a bit scary. It's not exactly kid friendly. <laughs> because, like, it starts out like, oh, yeah, it's getting just fine. And then shit hits the fan, and all your freaking friends get abducted by aliens. You go on this really weird trip through the oceans and through time as well itself it's ridiculous good morning hmm. i saw his shadow here recently just what was that uh sorry about that that was probably echo Gold. oh my amazing that you can control a golem that size now haven't played uh pokemon ultra moon recently so like pokemon on the mind a bit and I'm just thinking, Golem. How unoriginal is that? Good morning. That there is a Pokemon just called Golem. <laughs> it's just like, just like, yeah, it's a Golem. We named him Golem. What a lovely morning. I mean, it could have been even, you know, more unoriginal, like, I don't know. Because it's pretty much just a giant ball of rock, really. And you know the annoying thing I find about Pokemon like Golem is that you can only obtain them by trading. It's bullshit. And it's... Like, I could go on a ramble about all the bullshit things in Pokemon, like, for example, event Pokemon. Event exclusive Pokemon. They've been there since freaking Generation 1 and they keep making more and more. And I'm like, fuck you, Game Freak. You just, like, have these limited edition Pokemon. You'll never be able to complete, like, have a perfect 100% Pokedex completion because there's too many Pokemon at this point, and they still keep adding in event-exclusive Pokemon. It's bullshit. But at least, you know, with uh, the Gen 7 games in Sun and Moon, Ultra Moon, and Soul Sun, at least the Pokedex is completable. Not like the whole thing, because you got that stupid fucking Marshadow. I remember that Pokemon when it was originally like announced. I was still playing the Sun and Moon at the time and I was keeping up with that. But then I lost interest and they obviously released that Pokemon at some point when I was not no longer interested. So I missed my chance on that event because I just couldn't give a fuck to play the game any further than that because I was bored. So fuck you, Game Freak. And then they added another legendary that's only event exclusive after that. And uh, fall to Moon and Sun, and that event's passed by, and they'll never have another event for that because after one year, they're like, nah, that game's pretty much dead at that point. 
moving on to the next game. You get the event in that game instead. And if you miss that one, you have to wait till the next one. And I say, fuck that shit. Hate that shit. What's wrong? Oh yeah, and uh, back to how it all started there. Pokemon that can only be evolved by freaking trading them. Especially ones you have to trade them with, like, exclusive items. Absolute bullshit. Oh, Adin. It's nothing serious, I just tripped and fell and skinned my knee. It happens all the time. Be more careful. Lily just doesn't realize what a clutch she is. I think she's at least somewhat aware of that. I just saw the cat. <laughs> it's like, kind of like, we're ahead of them, huh? Just like, ah, to do our best. Went back to bed. Hey, did you know? I've heard that there's a restaurant somewhere where people are waiting in line. Eat. I'd love to eat food that is worth waiting in line for some, sometime. You should know, you'd be like, oh yeah, I finally got to a restaurant that has like a large queue, and it's like, got to the end and the food was absolute shit. Oh yeah, Joe. So, of course, the guy. Have a great day! Hey, I saw someone who looked like uh, uh, just like Beatrix. Huh? Are you sure you didn't just see Beatrix? Uh. Nah, it was a guy, but he just looked like her. Really hey, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? That's how young folk ought to be. You find any reference to be sure to so many about us? Now one thing I just had a thought. You know, video games, I mean look at Adin right here, he's running everywhere. He's not like the fastest thing alive or anything like that. But the fact he can run everywhere and not get exhausted is truly something. Just like realistically, if you know, like could someone physically run continuously like this and not get exhausted in real life? Like Forrest Gump. Uh, you guys must be morning people. You got ah, going to use Echo. You need to be able to do a little forty. And her birthday is still hinted at to be at some point, so gotta keep giving her gifts until then. Whoa! I've been wanting this. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Those gifts, combined with the uh, two quests, are clearly the reason why she's gone up in the uh, rankings relationship-wise. Morning. Hope it's a good day. I mean, not that it's even a competition to begin with, like right? it's no contest. Uh, I feel tired today. Sometimes I just need a day to rest. I can't believe you of all people have to say that. Once the dad and I had a big argument after he took a book of mine, you had to ask him when he got dirty. Got him dirty. And back in it now, I know he's being immature. Who well, haven't I got to? James and Bismarck, who surprisingly isn't cooped up in the store for once. Good morning, you two. I've been going around the island asking people what, ah, about what is popular. <laughs> right, and Sandra, I'm sure I asked you guys, but I can't really remember. Hmm. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha. For some reason, you know, going back to Pokemon again. 
Well, it's now like summoning in Pokemon, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, where you could like make something like, oh, this is totally what's popular right now. And it seemingly did nothing if you're not really, you know. Well, I don't even know how the hell you even know that yet. I don't feel like the game really tells you, but it determines the spot where feedback will, will uh, uh, spawn, which is weird. Good, good morning. Huh? You, um, never mind, it's nothing. Go, go accept her another request off the ball. We gotta go find that water temple. Yeah, an elephant, like I mentioned, probably in the previous one, yeah. You know, when... Oh, it's a request from Violet. Small island to the east. I like it in this small island to the east. There's a strange tower. How peculiar. I'm going to see Violet. But, you know... Well, like... Actually, yeah, it'd be tomorrow. It's the 15th today, so... Yeah. 16th will be when it upload part... Bonus part 4 of Resident Evil 4. And then... The next time Resident Evil get uploaded would be bonus part 5, and that'd be the rest of that. It'll be wrapped up. And the reason I'm just rambling on about that is because, you know, after that, then it'll just be this and Shining Force. It'll be the only ongoing LPs. So, you know, uh, the uploading would be... Pretty much the same, but you know, I'd have to record a bit more frequently. A bit more frequently than like just over a week. What's up? You seem distracted. Oh, uh, well, I was just thinking. Did I have. Uh, did, it have did it have something to do with your mess on the bulletin board? I uh, came to give you a hand. Thank you very much. They got giant hands, so. I mean, look at those hands. They just look way too big. Thank you, have you been to the island of the Blue Tower? Ever been to that? Not yet. That makes sense, I guess that's not really a reason to go there since it's locked. I've always wanted to know what it was like inside, I just can't stop wondering about it. Hey, what about that key I have? Okay, let me go check it out, I might be able to get inside. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's not far from where we are, so that's not bad. Did you go to the island of the blue tower yet? Do I look like... I mean... Unless I'm a time traveler, how the hell would that... Because it's like, it wouldn't have disappeared from the scene or anything. Yeah. Remember that time early on in the cell bay where, we got the, where I got the Earth Spirit Shrine Key? And I demonstrated what I did many years ago when I originally played the game by giving the keys to the characters. And they just accept it as a gift and then you're like, well, fuck, what now? It's like, I assume I can't really, you know, uh... Ow. You know, prove it or not? So, I mean, I probably could with this key if I gave it away and decided to come back here and see if it respawns. Because if it doesn't respawn, then that's really an oversight by the developers, because, I mean, seriously. I can't have been the only person who, first time playing the game, accidentally gave the key to the cat who gave the quest in the first place, and then realized that's not what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is accept the next request, so that you can go to the tower that the key unlocks. The game doesn't really make it abundantly clear, you know, at first, so uh, kind of easy to screw up. And I believe it's probably like, why didn't you just like do the fast travel thing instead? Just, uh, Crashing the waves is really obnoxiously loud. And there is really no much of a story, to be honest. So the other reason I'm like wandering around here is like this, basically running into monsters and I can kick their ass. So that, you know, we get levels maybe, and also get that damn trophy. 
Well, say that damn trophy, but I think there's three in total to fight in Giant Month. There's one for like 10 of them, 20 of them, and three. That's a lot of giant monsters to fight. Okay, looks like it's probably gonna be this in the area. Wait, no, I don't need to do that now. Yep, there it is. Of course, you need to... I mean, could you imagine the strength of Echo could lift this out of the ocean? That'd be something. It doesn't seem any different, so I should go tell that. It's any different to what? Exactly. I mean, the other towers, I guess. There's no animation for opening the door with the key. It just opens if you've got the key. I'm not going to enter there just yet. Let's go uh, complete that request. Also, got to check on the crops and monsters. Bird, you are so loud. Wait. Where is she? Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, are you going somewhere today? I went to the island with the blue tower. I've been wondering about it for so long. Please take this to the world. I hope it will come in handy. Protein boost. We're gonna need some shit like that. Help me like you're recovering well enough. We are recovering close and fire. We're close and large. It's not cheap, I assure you. It's much more effective. Provided a Dean, you know, freaking takes the damn thing. Rather than taking forever to chug it down, I mean, granted, you can't like, I don't know, some people can drink really fast. You shall be coming to do battle. And you as well. And you. That's a lot of peppers down there. Ah, oh, god damn it! Why is it always so much shit? And that's the one thing you'll never really get in this game: is a monster that can do the planting for you as well. You've always got. Oh god damn it! You always got to do this yourself. You can get like monsters like the old archer that can harvest the crops for you, you know, and put them in the box, in the tree, or whatever the fuck. So that's about it. Peppers! 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 Some big-ass peppers. Have we even got any recipe that has peppers just yet?
What are you guys even doing down here? <laughs> what is that jump in the... That is bizarre. That was all of them, right? Yeah. Strawberries. Strawberries that are very far apart. This island has cropped really far spread out. It's just like a pain in the ass. means we gotta upgrade this uh, spirit one yet again whenever possible. I haven't got much planting spots yet. <laughs> this just randomly torn this randomly this one this one crop of plant here. Now considering they grow up like that, imagine if they were like infants growth. Where like they just keep growing and growing. That'd just be nuts. Because then it reached the like, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But it would reach pretty far up. It would look more like a tree. Look how far apart this shit is. Ridiculous. It's like this, this LP at this point could be summed up as, you know, morning routine, talk to everyone on the island, followed by, you know, uh, checking on the crops and monsters, and then, uh, well, whatever else comes after that, which in this case will be, uh, uh, what exactly? Ah uh, yeah, checking out the water. Shrine, temple, thing. Fire crystals! I mean, that really goes to show how much time goes by before you actually get to anything in this game. It's like, it's already six! All, we, all I've done is just done my morning routine talking to everyone on the island. Okay, granted, now that I think about it, I also like, you know, traveled across the sea a bit, you know. But, you know, it's still like a lot of time passes so quickly. And yet, slowly at the same time, right? It's getting pretty late, but I think we'll briefly check out the water. Shrine Temple. Oh my god, look at this shit. There's gonna be so many floors. <laughs> this one's gonna take even longer to get through. This game is really awkwardly paced. 
it's no wonder why the uh, you know plot is almost non-existence. They got a fancy looking design here. Yeah, I mean it's very much copy and paste when you think about it. Like layout kinda has like this kind of default look to it. Lay down the uh, water scenery of colors, it's nice. What are you? Hey, what am I doing? I don't need my guys. Bam the square button. God damn, the spawn points take forever, didn't they? We got a different gimmick here, we have teleporters. Ah, shit. We have all carters. Just having a look around. Ooh. I mean, I don't really have the RP to be dealing with these guys right now. Damn, chicken boy! Alright. Let's recover RP. What's that? Mushroom. Stop your face jam. Ow! Ow! Oh shit, we got we got uh, mosquito looking things. Wow. Well, uh, uh what, what like like fleas kind of thing. I don't know, I don't know what that is. What I do know is what I assume it is. Is that it's poisonous? So do not watch. God, look how much RP I've got left after that. It's ridiculous. And we have lost Gniz. Gniz is down. This is a wonderful camera angle. There we go, freedom. Wait, is there even any point to this fucking room? Ow. No, there isn't. That's bollocks. Oh wait, it's 11. Let's see if I can find anything useful. Oh, that's yeah, that's new. Okay, this place sucks, let's get the fuck out. Quickly before Sonja says get to bed already. Now what? Anything we can make with that four toys? Like I'm not even looking at 
the actual item here. I'm just looking at the ingredients to see if, if, if the tortoise thing comes up at all. We can make no, we can't. <laughs> yo yo, the only use for a tortoise shell pack. That's bizarre. Surely it's gotta be an ingredient, something else. Maybe carpentry? I mean, it kind of makes sense there. Or not, we don't have many recipes to be fair. How much frickin' oak you need for that? We know our carpentry is very low, so let's make some green goods. Or not. Or not. We'll make one. Just one. Actually, let's have a look. Wait, all we need is oak? I guess, I guess, I'll, uh, guess I'll have to take down one of the trees for that. Oh wait, no, Yeah, uh, actually, what day is it? Holiday? Yeah, definitely isn't going to be that the next day, so no point in holding on to that. Now it's time for bed. Mm. What a thrilling, exciting part. So exciting that the cat is still asleep. And it's a rainy day. Good morning. <laughs> okay, that's that. You know, I wonder though. Those curtains are green. Maybe that's making like carpentry. When you make carpentry, maybe it does actually affect like the stuff in the actual house, but it also gives you uh, an item kind of thing that you can sell. Maybe it, maybe it duplicates, I don't know how it works. Either way it goes, I'm going to record a part immediately after of course. And it'll be a rainy day, because it's raining. And uh, not much else to say that. What will happen next? Will I advance through the water sample or will it just be I call it the water temple as the water shrine. But you know, Zelda on the mine when it comes to uh you know that. It's like it's kind of like set the ground for, you know games, you know, that have like dungeons, temples and shit, you know? Anyways, I'll see you next time videos. See you next time.